With us now is economist, investment analyst, and financial journalist Mark Skousen. Mr. Skousen is the editor of Forecast and Strategies and the author of The Making of Modern Economics. And Mr. Skousen, thanks so much for being with us today. Hey, my pleasure. Well, Mr. Skousen, I understand you're turning 65 in just a few days, so an early happy... 65. Six... I know I look, but I look 55. There right? you go. Well, a, a very early happy birthday to you. Uh, many Americans, when they, when they turn 65, sign up for Social Security, but I understand you don't plan to accept Social Security payments and will sign up anyways so that you can put the money to good use. This is part of a concept you call the Social Security Pledge. Talk to us about your idea and how would it work? Well, actually, in the uh, early 1980s, when I was very young and brash and so forth, I actually burned my Social Security card. I was so fed up with the whole idea that the government was going to control my retirement. And at that time, I took a pledge that I would never take Social Security. But when you know, when you reach 65, and I talked to a lot of my friends, I said, well, what about this? Do you take Social Security? And what do you do with the money and so forth? Every one of them said, look, at this was a government program that was forced upon us. We were, we were forced to pay into it. And so we're going to take, uh, take the money and use it for uh, spending and what have you. And what I discovered was that uh, people just didn't know what to do with the money. Uh, for those who were wealthy and didn't need it for their daily expenses, it just went automatically into their bank account and it just sat there. So I came up with the idea of the Social Security Pledge where they actually pledge the money to use for a variety of good causes. Now, I understand that you've shared this idea with a number of friends and colleagues, including Steve Forbes, Whole Foods CEO John Mackey, um, think tank leaders, and many more. What kind of response have you received, and do you see your idea gaining traction? Well, it's, it's just beginning, and we've just set up a, a website, socialsecuritypledge.org, and uh, we're just trying to see what kind of response. But in talking to a number of my friends and colleagues uh, in this business, across the political spectrum, by the way, I've also uh, emailed Warren Buffett about it. We've had some correspondence before. And the whole idea is to, uh, to, is to use this money for good use rather than letting it just sit there. I talk to a lot of friends who simply don't know what to do with their Social Security money if they don't need it for daily expenses. So these are people who are fairly well off. They have other sources of, of retirement income, such as an IRA or a company pension plan. And so I have tried to give guidance here, and uh, I've had very good response. I had uh, dinner the other day with John on Mackey of Whole Foods Market. He thought it was a fantastic idea. And, and the think tank people love it because they think it will ignite a tremendous increase in donations to their organizations. Now, a number of affluent individuals are extremely philanthropic, donating sums of uh, money, uh, portions of which might include Social Security benefits to charitable causes. Uh, what are the benefits of also donating via the Social Security Pledge? Well, you know, it really focuses the mind. There's a couple of things that I really like about it. One is that now you have real purpose to what to do with your Social Security money when you have other sources of income and you really don't need it. The other thing is, it really is helpful for people to know that there's a limit to how much they can give. So if you're earning $1,500 a month in Social Security and I'll be getting that amount or something a little bit more, then I know that every month I can set aside a certain amount of money and it doesn't have to be the full amount, it can even be a part of it if you wish, and, you do, and then you go through, these are organizations I would like to donate to. So one of the things we do on our website is we allow people to list their favorite or, uh, uh, causes, whether it's charities or churches or think tanks or foundations or hospitals or what have you, student scholarships, you're really open to any possibility. Then you can put that money to use and you know there's a limit. You know, it's kind of like giving money to political parties uh, and to political candidates. We, we're in an election cycle. It's nice to know that there's a limit to how much money they can ask for. And so going to these uh, uh, various charities and organizations, you can say, well, I do donate my uh, Social Security check every month, 
So I'm limited to giving you, say, $300 a month because I have other organizations to give to. And, and that allows you to tell the organization, listen, I can't give you any more, but I am trying to be generous. So Mark, can you clarify for me exactly how this works? Do folks donate electronically to these nonprofits and these think tanks, or do they go through the website that you've talked about, socialsecuritypledge.org? Like exactly how does it work? Well, we have the, uh, we have the website. People should go to socialsecuritypledge.org. They can list their name and list their organizations and the links that they have to it. But what's really nice that I like about it is the convenience factor. Uh, several years ago, the Treasury Department decided that they were going to uh, uh, make all payments, all Social Security checks uh, automatic uh, into people's bank accounts uh, uh, through a bank wire. So you get that money automatically. So every bank has online capability, whether it's Bank of America or EverBank, which is an online banking service. I've talked to a lot of them. So what can happen is that you can simply list the name and bank account information or even the address of the organization that you want to donate to. And that bank with its online service then will automatically send a check every month to that organization until you tell them to change it. So you don't have to be thinking every month, well, who am I going to give this to and so forth. You decide right from the beginning that you are going to give to maybe five different organizations every month. You give the bank the name and address and they will cut a check and send it to them or wire the money to that bank account every month and it couldn't be simpler and yet it's so powerful because you're finally getting involved on a regular basis and the think tanks and the charity organizations love it because now they're getting a monthly check from you uh, to, to further their cause. Mr. Skousen, fascinating idea. Last question for you is on a separate issue. You're also the producer of Freedom Fest an event where some of the brightest minds in the world gather to talk, strategize, socialize, and celebrate liberty. How did the event go this year, and what can we look forward to next year? Well, we had 2,000 people there this year uh, in Las Vegas in the middle of July, so it was a hot conference. And uh, next year, we're doing something very different. We're moving over to Caesar's Palace, and our theme is Are We Rome? And I think a lot of people have found that really interesting. In fact, uh, Senator Rand Paul said, well, why don't we have a Roman forum and we can have senators arguing and so forth. We try to do a lot of creative things at Freedom Fest, and that's why we're getting such a large uh, response, and we'll have several thousand people there next July. If people go to freedomfest.com, they can find all about it. In fact, we have a nice little two-and-a-half-minute video preview uh, on the subject of Are We Rome that a lot of people have really liked. So... I really hope uh, your uh, listeners, your viewers will consider coming to Freedom Fest. We have uh, literally hundreds of conferences, uh, uh, speakers and think tanks, and both Steve Forbes and John Mackey are our co-ambassadors, so uh, Senator Rand Paul comes every year. We, we really have a great turnout. All right, Mark Skousen, thanks so much for being with us, and again, have a happy birthday. Um, if folks want to learn more about the Social Security Pledge, do you want to give us that web address one more time? Yeah, they go to socialsecuritypledge.org on the web and just fill out your name, add, uh, just your email address. We're, we're keeping that private, but we want to do that for correspondence. And then you list your, your favorite organizations when you take this pledge to give Social Security, uh, your Social Security check or part of that check to a good cause. All right, Mark Skousen, thanks for being with us. Thank you. And thank you for watching Newsmax TV.